Hello everyone, Harold Reynolds here. Welcome to Play Ball at Home presented by Scott's. And I'm at my home in New Jersey as we keep our social distance and we try to stay healthy and safe. You know, this week we got an all time great with us, Albert Pujols. So before things got shut down, I went out to Arizona, went to the Angels camp, sat down with the machine. But right now we're gonna catch up to him at his home in California and see what Albert's been up to since the shutdown and what he's gonna do to get ready when we pick things back up. Check it out. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff watching Albert swing that bat. Now he's joining us now, the future Hall of Famer. Albert, how you doing, man? Hey, bro. Thanks for having me. Good to see you again, man. Good to see oh. you safe and, and home. <laughs> yeah, hey, you, so you speaking be, of that. You shouldn't be in the studio right now, and I should be in the field. But, hey, you know, by the grace of God, we're here, and at least we, we're safe and home. Well, uh, speaking of that, what, what are you doing at home right now? How are you, how are you handling all this? Well, it's tough, you know, because this is something that uh, nobody was expecting this and now you kind of reinvent yourself and kind of like continue to train and be safe, you know, but I think, uh, you know, I'm continuing to work out and uh, I'm kind of looking at this like my off-season training, just waiting on the day, you know, to see if we, we're going to go back and playing or not, but I think uh, the most important thing that I'm focused right now is really keeping my family healthy and, and and continue to pray, you know, for our fans and people that are really getting affected uh, with this virus. We had your buddy Mike Trout on not too long ago, and <laughs> he told me he comes over and hits at your place, works yeah. out, lifts weights, and we got a little video of that, so I got a chance to see your setup. Uh, what are you guys doing workouts? And, and you and Mike, I didn't realize you guys lived that close and you were that close all the time, spend time together. Oh yeah, Drum Mikey and I, you know, we have a great relationship and I think uh, out of all the accomplishments that you have in the field and off the field, I think that the things that you take with you always is that relationship. And Han and I, we have a great relationship over the last 10 years, really respect each other. We really ask a lot of questions to each other and help each other out because at the end of the day, that's going to make uh, not only ourselves better, but also our organization and also can really accomplish what we want and that's winning a championship. So uh, we work out every day. I just got done working out within about an hour ago and uh, just looking forward to just keeping ourselves healthy and, and prepared. It's really fun, man. I mean, you've been around Mike. Uh, he's, he's not just the best baseball player in the game right now, but he's also, also a great human being. And I'm blessed and honored to, to take the stage and also uh, take the same feel with him, you know, and help him out, him out uh, and the things that I can help him out. So as you know, um, with this going on, there's not any spring sports being played. There's a lot of youngsters, not only 10 and 12 years old, but high school and college that didn't play this spring. So what would your words of wisdom and, and advice be to, to that group of kids that aren't playing right now, that someday we yeah. will be back playing again? I think the most important thing we need to be safe. Hey, listen, there's a lot of things that you can do in your backyard, you know, playing catch, you know, you can uh, go to Dick's Sporting Goods and buy a tea or, 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 or an L screen and, and continue to, to build your swings, you know, and, and all this stuff. And listen, people are really anxious to, to see us go back and, and play, but I think there's more things that are more important, and that's the safety of our fans and, and, and people and the players, you know, and that's something that, that we really focus on it right now. All right, Albert, we do this one thing called Santa Lot to the show. Kids send in videos, they submit them. So I'm, I'm honored I got a Hall of Famer here standing with me. Well, future, I won't jump into it yet. <laughs> but I want to take your analysis and look at some of these kids. So I've got three kids, a few swings, and I want you to check them out with me. Is that all right? Yeah, perfect. So here's one young man named Easton, left-handed hitter. He's hitting the ball into the net. What do you think about Easton? Well, I like his swing. I think the only thing, if I want to correct it, is he's dropping the elbow a little bit too soon. You know, I, I, the, the back elbow is dropping a little bit, and that's allowed him to come up under the ball a little bit. So I would love for him to not drop the elbow too soon. Keep that elbow up and just take it straight to the path, you know, like 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, you know, throws the ball. All so right, that's Easton, that's pretty that cool, man. That man's got 3,000-some hits and 600-some homers. That's impressive. All right, Albert, our next kid is Derek. Uh, Albert, we've both done this drill before. One hand uh, yeah. flips, and then the other hand, top hand. 
What do you think? Do you like this drill? Well, I don't do it much uh, anymore because the elbow surgery that I have. But yeah, you know, I think, you know, uh, that's, a, that's a really good drill. What I like about his swing is his balance. You know, you see when he's finished his swing, it's really balanced. And, and that's where everything starts. Everybody looks up the upper body, but the really basis is your lower half. Your lower half has to be strong, and that's where everything starts. When he's finished his swing, whether it's one hand or both hands on the back, I like the, the way that he's really balanced on. So there's not much to work on that. I like, I like his I like his swing. Derek, you got a future, man. You got a future. All right, let's check out Florence. Somebody's flipping some balls to her, and I don't know if that's snow on the ground. She's headed <laughs> into the clouds. She crushes these balls. What do you think about Florence? <laughs> she definitely has some pop for sure. <laughs> you know, really good swing. I think uh you know, not much to, to teach her, just uh, to try to stay back a little bit more. Some of the swing, I can see that she's shifting her way, even though she's hitting it far away, but she's drifting a little bit uh, before she's making that swing. And she's still making a good contact and hit it away because it's softer. But when now, when you're facing live pitching and you shift your body forward like that, you're gonna have a, a little bit more problem to make contact. Now that's expert analysis, folks, from the future Hall of Famer, Albert Pujols. Tell you what, keep submitting your videos. We'll keep grabbing people. I can't guarantee you Albert every week, but we will get to some experts. <laughs> Albert, it has been so great having you on. We appreciate you taking this time right now on Play Ball at Home, sponsored by Scott's. We appreciate you taking the time. Thanks, big fella. No, thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. That was so cool catching up to Albert. You're gonna see more Albert Saturday on Play Ball presented by Scott's. Now before then, we're gonna leave you with some drone shots we took in Arizona at the Angels Complex when I was out there visiting with Albert. Really cool stuff. So check that out and we'll see you Saturday. Play Ball presented by Scott's with the machine himself, Albert Pujols.